Hi, I'm David from Hobby Drone, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to pair your ELRS radio to your ELRS drone. So you're going to need radio and drone, battery and computer or phone. First of all, we're going to set up the password in the radio. So we're going to long press the radio and right here we're going to go to systems, go down to express cluster, then go down and go to Wi-Fi connectivity and press enable Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi starts running. On your computer or on your phone, go to Wi-Fi settings and just wait. As you can see, here is Express Larissa TX, which is transmitter, which is radio. So we're gonna connect and the password is always EXPR, E-S-S-L-R-S. -S -S. Then we're gonna press OK and we connect it. By itself, it's gonna open website. If not, just go to your browser and type down 10.0.0.1 and search it. So you're gonna jump to the site. Right here, we're gonna type uh, some phrase. Uh, to make it much more easier because the the binding phrase is not like a password uh, in real world it's just binding phrase so it's not totally secret so it could be something which you know it's yours and no one else so it could be your number so let's type some number in it because it's not that top secret and you always know your phone number so it's much easier and then uh, press save and reboot. When it's done, the enabling uh, Wi-Fi finished here. Now, we're gonna do the same with the drone. Just to make sure I'm not burning the VTX, I unplug it the O3 unit, but uh, it's just a few seconds if you know what you're doing. If not, it could take some minutes. You're gonna plug on the battery, and we're gonna be checking the LED just right here. As you can see, it's blinking with the blue and we're gonna wait until the LED gonna be blinking fast. When this happened, it means the Wi-Fi turned on. In the default, it should uh, be for one minute. It's, uh, so as you can see, it start blinking very fast. So now in a computer or in a phone, we should start looking for the Express LRS uh, Wi-Fi and yeah, uh, it's just right here Express ELRS RX Connect you're gonna wait for the Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's connect and automatically oh, it opened the same website If not as I said search it this 10001 in your browser So right here you're gonna type down the binding phrase aka your password Which I as I recommend should be your phone number and then we're gonna press save and reboot and the LED gonna start blinking slowly and now let's check if that happened correctly so I'm gonna turn everything off I'm gonna turn on the radio and now we're gonna turn on the drone and we are looking for connectivity just right here and as you can see, it's connect. I can see full signal here, and I can see the uh, blue LED, it's solid blue. So it's connect, but uh, when you do this, you still have to connect your drone to the beta flight and set up the switches, set up the gimbals, everything. So let's do it now. If we want to set up the switches, we have to connect the drone to the computer. We're gonna do it just plug in the USB-C to all-in-one stack or it could be just FC and uh, USB-C cable or it could be micro USB-C doesn't matter you just connect it to the drone and connect it to the computer uh, if it's not working just try another cable and in a computer you have to download Betaflight configurator now we could see the drone is reacting to the visualization so we are connected and then we go to receiver and as you can see it's not working that's because the ELRS is not powered on so we have to power on the drone 
to get some energy to the receiver. So now we can see the throttle is throttling, yaw is yawing, pitch is pitching, roll is rolling. So that's correct. If not, you should try switching uh, this alter if it's uh, in different way. Yeah, if it's in a different way that uh, your throttle is doing something different, try to switch this. Anyway, we go to modes and as we can see, I have always arm or um, start the motors just right here and that's correct angle is just right here that's correct that's what I like and beeper is here so that's what I like but I like it uh, the beeper in the middle part so right here okay it's not beeping but because I didn't press the safe so when I do it Is beeping anyway I'm gonna add some other thing which is a crash flip so I'm gonna add range auto and I want to do crash flip just right here and like that so now if I want to do it crash flip I go here I arm the drone and then crash flip then I go everything back, arm and fly again. So this is how you can set up all your um, switches. You could do it uh, by auto. And it automatically detects uh, the switch you, you are moving or you can choose by, by yourself. It's up to you. If you cannot find the switches, the auxes, you have to unlock them in your radio, which you're gonna do it just like that. Go to MDLL, then go to another page, another page, another page, inputs, mixes, and the mixes are the correct way where to set up the switches. So you should see the channel 5, channel 6, channel 7 empty, so you're gonna press, you can name it. So let's say my first channel could, should be ARM. So I, I could name it RM. And then go to source, press it and move. And move with the source you want. Now it's all set up, go back and do the same thing for all switches so let's say for the six you're gonna set down this switch for the, the seven you're gonna do this one this one or you can use these if you want or these potentiometers or these switches it's up to you and when it's set up you will see them in beta flight so now it's all set up and now we can go out and fly